Good afternoon. A very warm welcome to this latest ECFR Quarantimes call. Wolfgang Schmidt is the State Secretary at Germany's Federal Ministry of Finance, where he works very closely with the Finance Minister Olaf Scholz, who uh, came very much into public prominence when he described the new Franco-German proposal for a European recovery fund as a Hamiltonian moment for Europe. And we're absolutely thrilled that Wolfgang is here with us today to offer his ideas on European solidarity, European sovereignty, and he will let us know how it's changed the, the politics in Germany, um, what assumptions he has about the impact of COVID on, on the future of the global economy, and above all, um, what, what about the road from here towards having a recovery fund and in fact a European recovery even. Yeah, thank you very much, Mark. And um, I, I, I'm looking very much forward to an interesting uh, debate. Um, and as, as you mentioned, um, yes, we tried to, to, to actually respond to that crisis in a way that it might not be perceived as the typical way of Germans responding to a crisis. But actually, if you, if you look at what, what um, Olaf Scholz is the finance minister since, since 2018 has been doing in this job, is even though he once famously said a German finance minister is a German finance minister, he, I would say, pretty much changed the way uh, Germany operates. And we have re-established this famous um, Franco-German cooperation and, and being the drivers for some results, especially in the Eurogroup. Uh, if you think about um, the Greece situation, the, the banking union, or the Eurogroup budget, uh, the Euro budget. Um, so uh, when, when COVID hit and, and we realized pretty soon that a response of the different national states would not be sufficient, um, we started obviously discussing what to do. And we, as you all know, divided that into two phases. First of all, the one that dealt with the immediate impact of the crisis, where then the answer was by the Eurogroup of the, first of all, 16 painful hours in a video conference, and then afterwards of the a good day and some sleep, uh, another round where they found a compromise with these three elements of the European Investment Bank, the new SURE program for um, short-term work allowance, and uh, the ESM um, uh, with some more flexibility, adding to what the ECB has been doing and obviously what the Commission is doing. And already there was this element, uh, a French proposal actually, to implement something like a recovery fund. And we've been working with our colleagues in France um, ever since. And at the end, um, the, the Franco-German then framed uh, Merkel-Macron, Macron-Merkel plane came up. And I think this is a, a quite a step forward. And I'm happy that people now also realize that because um, f for the first time probably in the history, Germans were saying, okay, we need to think about another way of raising own resources for the European Union, and that should include also the possibility of uh, running debt and issuing bonds. By that overcoming a, a discussion that many of, of who participate here have been participating in, on euro bonds and and i think we found quite a smart way of presenting a solution which is not uh, a problem of the old debate so i think the underlying thing and and olaf scholz even though he was the the mayor of hamburg and and, and previously in the last crisis the federal minister of labor he has been thinking about europe all his life and he is uh, of the belief that we need a Europe, as Macron said it, that protects and we need a sovereign Europe. And I would say this is even more important in these years where we see that the geopolitical fabric disintegrates and we will, and, and you all know the debate about China and, and the US and, and, and that, the, that the member states alone are, are not strong enough. So we need something where Europe sticks together and obviously Europe can only stick together if it is healthy within and um, we have the elements of a sound fiscal uh, union where we have common fiscal support 
uh, and we have a, a pan-European growth agenda for the time after the crisis because we all know how severely this, this crisis hits the economies of the member states. And, um, and, and it is, as we always say, in Germany's best national interest to have a strong and healthy and prosperous European Union. Obviously, it's, it's also self-interest for, for Germany that um, we are an exporting nation and if um, our neighbors and our friends are in a, a difficult economic situation, this also has an impact on the German economy. And we had already seen that when uh, our Italian friends had problems, the health crisis, that then supply chains were interrupted. And this had an impact on German companies that were dependent on parts uh, from the north of Italy. So now we have the question that you ask where we go from here. And there is this happy coincidence of the ongoing negotiations of the MFF that need to be concluded by the end of the year. You all know that uh, Germany will take over the presidency. So I have a gut feeling, obviously, that I'd like to see the MFF negotiations being finished before that presidency, but there is a gut feeling that that might not work and that uh, we will have to see the final touches. But this obviously will help us because now the package and the possibilities for a comprehensive package including the MFF, the new own resources decision, including um, the recovery fund, gives you possibilities to play around so that we can hopefully integrate both the Frugal Four, the Visegrad, and all the others, um, so to find a compromise. We, we are ready as, as, as the presidency to be maybe the earnest broker or, or, or driver for that. And... Uh, Maybe if I share how, how Olaf Scholz, as finance minister, operates and how we came to this, but also to the compromises in the past, is he tries to figure out the room for compromise that always exists in politics. And he tries to figure it out by talking to all the different actors and understanding, okay, what is their concern? And, and we know the Frugal Four, they have a point, obviously, and they have difficulties. So if, for example, in Scandinavia, and, and we have some colleagues from Sweden here, uh, a parliament or in Finland demands a two-third majority for the parliamentary approval process, then it is a problem. And and. And, and we have to take this into consideration. My, my belief is that this crisis has changed something because now everybody understands that we are in this together. It's not somebody's fault because that virus came over us. It's, it's a, a shock that hit everybody and every society. And it's nobody's fault that it, uh, it has an impact, a different impact on every on every um, uh, society, on every economy, and that we can only survive that together, um, especially given the geopolitical um, situation. So I'm, I'm confident, and, um, and I think that that we will that we will be able to find a, a solution, um, and enhance this idea of a Hamiltonian moment. Obviously, this would only be a first step in the in the in the way to towards a, a more perfect union, as we put it. Um, but um, and maybe I'm happy to share it through, through Mark Leonard. Olaf Scholz did an interview with the weekly Die Zeit two weeks ago, where he explained a little bit his farther reaching ideas. We all know that uh, getting rid of the anonymous um, decision rule, uh, for example, when it comes to taxation, is not a project of tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, but it's something we'd like to work on and also on real own resources like the, uh, the ETS for flights or for shipping so that we can really have own resources. And if we have own resources, then the whole question of issuing bonds and debt wouldn't be a, a one-time only crisis-related measure, but could be something that um, might be part of the European toolkit for the future. And you can see that this, this might sound uh, a bit strange, and you might wonder whether I'm really from Germany, and this is really a German finance ministry's position, 
But I think um, that this crisis demands us to, to really think outside the box and come up with solutions that, that actually cope with the situation that we are in.